Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 28th of January 2022. Uh, it's still afternoon here, not evening yet, um, it's afternoon, um, but it fits my time now. I'm hoping, uh, what I've done is I've opened the curtains and let light into this room, um, which you might think, huh, it's daytime isn't it, and uh, curtains normally open, and the answer is, Quite often, no, actually, because in Thailand, it, it's very the sunshine is very strong, and although it's nice to have sunshine in your room uh, for a while, uh, actually, um, you know, it negates the uh, poor air conditioning. <laughs> it's not poor air conditioning. I mean, it, it negates the effects of the air conditioning quite often, and we're really trying to keep cool. We don't need the sunshine like people who live in cold countries need their sun and their warmth. We rather uh, try to keep it out as much as possible. So, uh, but yesterday I was fall I almost fell asleep while playing the uh, afternoon game. So I'm hoping that today uh, I'm more alert. So I've opened the window. I've opened the curtains, allowing light to flood in, and hopefully keeping keeping me more alert because I have also done a fair bit of exercise today. So let's get on with it, shall we? Enough chatter. I have now seen the first digit, plural, because I've seen more than one. I've seen sevens blocking down here and across there. So a seven must fit into that square there. Seven blocks across this row, across this row, and right up there. So seven fits there. Then seven blocking down here and up here. Uh, we can place a seven into that square there. Uh, what was the other thing I saw? Oh yeah, this five blocking across here, five blocking across here, and five blocking up there. That's a five we can play. Okay. Then five blocking down this column, this column, and across here. Puts a five into that square there. Uh, now we have no five. Oh, yes, we have no bananas. We have no five here. We have, uh, I'm sorry, we do not allow a five here, I should say. We do not allow a 5 here because of this 5, and this 5 stops that square from being a 5, so naturally, 5 must appear there. Uh, right, any other likely looking things around? <coughs> yep, okay, we've got this one blocking these two squares here, and we need a 1 in this column, so... Uh, column? Row! We need one in that row. Uh, this one blocks all the way down here, one blocks all the way down here, that's a one there. I hope this is a, an expert level game, not an easy game by mistake. It took me ages for this puzzle to load. I'm not sure if I'm having internet trouble or something, or just just uh, some weird, um, I don't know, things are happening on the browsers today, but there seems to be quite some delay on some things happening, which is quite unusual. I have pretty fast internet here in Thailand, to be honest with you. Um, right, let's see. Okay, four blocks across this row here, so that's four we can place there. Um, should I spell out what I know? No, let's not bother. I can tell you something much more interesting. Okay, two blocks across here, right, in this block here, and we know that two is going to be in one of these two squares as well, so that means blocked across here, two blocking across here, and two blocking down here. We can place a two there. Two down this column, two down this column, two across here. That means you're a two across this row and across this row and down here you're a two two 
two blocking this row and this row up here leaves just that one square available for us and now two blocking down here up here gives us a two in that square there. I'm getting suspicious that this might not be an expert level puzzle. I could have clicked on the wrong one by mistake. If it turns out to be an easy level puzzle or something, I'll put it on the internet and I'll put it, I'll label it as easy level or something like that if, if that's how it turns out. But it could just be a logic puzzle at the end. I have no idea. We will see, won't we? This must be an eight to finish this block. As usual, when I start getting suspicious that it might not be <laughs> an expert level game, it's su I suddenly get stuck for a moment. That often happens. Uh, nine blocking up here, nine across here, so that's a nine in that square there. Uh, okay, I can get this number. I want to know how, because 4 and 6 block up here. That means 4 and 6 are in these two squares. Can't place them. It doesn't matter, because it means I can work out these, knowing that these two are 4 and 6. So the missing numbers here must be 3 and 8. Okay, so knowing that this is 3 and 8, we can get this one down here. It has to be... Uh, one, which I could have seen by just saying one block's down here and one block's down here, of course. But you know, sometimes <laughs> you just don't see those things. <clears throat> um, okay, so what's still to get here? Three, which we know is in those squares. Four we don't know about, and six we obviously don't know. Six is up here, right? This is four and six, so this is four and six. And down here, three, four, and six. Okay. Missing digits along here are three and uh, five, I think. Oh, I know that this is a 5 here, by the way, of course, that's a long time ago. Uh, what, else is, oh, uh, what else is missing here now? 9 is in those squares, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's have a quick look at this again. One, two, three, still in the... Oh, um, okay, uh, how about this block over here? Uh, we've got one, we've got two. Three is possible anywhere there. Four and eight are in these squares. 5 is in these squares, so what else don't we know about 6? Six? 6 is down here.
Um, all right, how about up here? One is in most squares. Three, we don't know. Four, we don't know. Six, we have no idea. I'll do it. What about this? Ooh, what about this column down here? Let's see what's missing. We don't yet have three, four, six, eight. Three, four, six, eight. Uh, hmm. Not for me. Mm. Oh, okay. Eight blocks down here, eight blocks across here. Eight is in that square there, isn't it? Okay. So that puts eight up here like this. Eight is in that square there. Eight across like this. Eight here. Unfortunately, up here we really don't have any information on 8 billion. It can go anywhere, it feels like. So that's a shame. Let's, in fact, highlight the numbers now one by one, because otherwise I, I almost didn't see that 8, right? I haven't done this yet. So 1s are left in those positions. 2, two is done, actually. I didn't realize 2 is finished already. 3s, then I mentioned before, can be like this. 3s uh, are like so. These are a real pain because they just go in too many places. Okay. Fours are here. This is four and eight in these squares, wasn't it? So fours, fours like that, fours like this. Unfortunately, up here, four can go anywhere it feels like. This is a horrible block, this top right block. Uh, fives I know are useless because fives just appear in these in these squares here like that. So I know I've been looking at fives for ages and getting nowhere with it. Sixes are across there like that. Sixes are in those squares and like this. Um, basically anywhere like that. Up here again, of course. It's carte blanche for the sixes. Uh, sevens in those squares, in those squares, nothing we can do about that. Eights then up here and here. Oh, I just looked at eights, didn't I? How about the nines? Nines are somewhere across here. Ah, okay, now we've got something. Nine blocking across here now. So nine is now in one of those two squares, meaning this one can't be nine. Uh, so, so uh, nine will be in those two squares and those two squares. Damn, still not enough. Hmm. Uh, I thought I'd seen something. What's what else is missing from this column? Nine, three, and six. Here now we know it's not a nine, but we don't know about the three or the six, so that's still not there. Down here, nine there, so this is three and six again. 
Hmm. All right, pencil mark time for me. I've gone as far as I can. Uh, reasonably expected to go within a reasonable time frame. Ones go here because of this one and this one blocking across, of course. And one blocking across here and across here and down there. So a pair of ones are possibilities in those squares. Two is done. Three. Uh, Three is in those squares now, and three and what else is missing here now? Three and eight. Wait a minute, maybe I can do a bit more. No, no, over here we don't know. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, what was missing from here? Four and six, right? Let's put those in now. Uh, before I go any further. Right, try again. Uh, threes. How far do I get? Threes. Um, okay, fours then. So, um, fours. Like that. Those are the positions for five. Six is somewhere in this row. Oh, no, it's not a pair. I know it's not a pair, but I'm going to put it in because it is at least in a straight line, and that is often helpful in terms of Sudoku, as well as being pair, as well as finding pairs. If you can find numbers in a straight line within a block, that's often very useful. Uh, so seven blocking across here, seven blocking down here, and seven across there puts sevens into those squares there. Seven across this row, across this row, and again down here, seven goes there. Now why didn't I see that that was a naked pair of one and seven previously? I don't know why I didn't see it, but I didn't see it. And I'm hoping that that is going to help us out a great deal, but I might just be being optimistic. Uh, right, now we know that's 1 and 7. We know this is 9 already anyway, actually. I already worked that out, so that doesn't help much. Uh, what else do we know? There's not much coming down here, is there, unfortunately? Uh, what about these two squares? Uh, 3 and Six, right? Which is no, I don't actually see that before. So no. All right, nothing great there then. So let's uh, maybe we'll come back and look at you later. Eights now here in those squares. Eights are here where the fours are. And then up there we don't know. Okay, eights are here. And then let's do a bit more of these nines because we have nine across this row and across this row. So we have a straight line of nines there. Oh, no, not here, sorry. Because remember, I said nine blocks across here. So nine is a pair there. Okay, and nine will be in 
those one of those two squares there. Right, so it looks like we've finished with our pairs and straight lines. And this is where we are at. Man. Cat cat. And uh hmm. Right, so let's fill in the rest of the candidates, shall we? Uh, I have no particular place to begin, no particular place to go. One, two, three, uh, four can go in any of these squares, as can six. Okay, down here now it is three and six that can go anywhere, right? Okay, over here now. Uh, three can go anywhere it feels like, right? We don't have any restrictions on three. Of course, except for this one and seven, I mean. Uh, four is crossed like this. Five we have already. Six can go anywhere. Okay. Seven is in, eight is in, nine, nine we've got already. Okay, so that's done now. Hmm. Okay, not much there. Uh, there's one missing number uh, from here, and that is three, so let's put it in up here. Now then one, two, we have three we don't know anything about, so three can go anywhere. Four, five, uh, six books up there. So six in those squares. Seven, eight, and nine are in fact done. And I just examined the shoot and did not find anything. Up here I found three, eight, three, eight. So that means I do know that that is going to be a four or a six because that's what we have here. But there is no indication of whether it is a 4 or a 6. So it looks like we're going to have to get to the end with candidates, doesn't it? Anyway, let's do this block here first. It's slightly easier. This one was a real nightmare, this block up here. Right, one we're in, two we're in, three blocks across here like that. So three in all of those squares. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all done. Okay. So we got three, six here, and three, six here. So now we know that this cannot be a 6. Right? We've got a naked pair of 3 and 6 here. So this must not be a 6. This says 4 or 8. This could be 4 or 8, but it definitely cannot be a 6. Right? Okay, we're going to get to this back in a moment. So we know that this is not a 6. Uh, and meaning that this must be a 6. And this must be a 4. Okay, and so now we can say that this is an 8 and this is a 4. And we can remove candidate 4s in those squares. Now we're left with just one 4 there, so we do that. And this must be a 6. And we can get rid of several 6s uh, like this. I choose the correct mode, right? Okay, always a difficult thing to remember to switch the computer between modes. Right, okay, looking rather swifter now, I think. Um, so we still haven't finished this block, have we? Um, do we need to do anything else before we go ahead and do that? Is there anything super easy that we just ought to do quickly? No, I don't think so, so let's get on with it. Right, we got one, two, uh, three, Three, where are you? Three can still go anywhere. Four, five is done. Six. Ooh, six is still an anywhere kind of digit. Seven is in, nine is in, eight is not in yet. Eight, guess what? Eight can go anywhere as well. Wow. <coughs> How about that? Right. So,
Um, let's uh, highlight the numbers and make sure I have removed what needs to be removed, because sometimes I'm guilty of not doing that. That later. Um, Okay, three six, three six eight, three numbers and three squares, meaning this three can be deleted, and this three and eight can be deleted, and voila, we have a single nine. Let's place it now, and let's place our nine here, and let's give ourselves a three in this location, and then back up and place an eight here, a three there, and eight there, uh, and let's get rid of the eights and no squares there. Uh, let's come back and look again at this three because now that means this must be a five and that will give us a three in this square, a six in this square, three and six we have now this must be seven, five will finish that block. Um, seven here now is a one therefore, seven goes there this one means this can't be a one, so one is in here now. And we'll get rid of candidate one in case it confuses my poor brain. At some point, six here gives us a three in that square there, meaning this must be a six. Uh, and get rid of those sixes there and put a six into that square there, the only place it can go. And get rid of the sixes here and put a six right there. Now we have a 4 here, so this must be a 3. We have a 9 here, so this must be a 4. Um, <clears throat> okay, what else do we need? Well, let's just get rid of, we've got 6 here, let's get rid of that candidate 6 again to avoid any confusion or mishaps in the future. Right, so just got to focus over here now. We've got 6 in this column, so that can't be a 6. Let's take it out. And let's place the six where it must go, which is there. Our three gives us an eight in this square, a three in this square. Let's remove candidate threes there. In fact, we've got to remove that one as well. Okay, so now we're left with a single nine here, and an eight here, and the nine will mean this is a three, and this is our nine. I've done this game without falling asleep, which is quite an achievement. <laughs> Three in this square now. We have an eight, so to finish today's game, a four. It took quite a long time though, that's because I really um, spent a long time searching before going to pencil marks. The reason these games are taking longer than usual, I think, is because of the people in the comment section trying to get me to go all the way without pencil marks, which I usually can't do, but I will try to go as far as I can, and then that's it. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me today, and don't forget to come back. And if you didn't check it out, uh, I did. I played the game of Word or today as an experiment, and I was, uh, I did finish it, but it was quite funny because I didn't uh, ex didn't play it properly. Uh, you'll see why if you watch the video. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.